Good morning, folks. Today, I'm going to show you a different way of cooking Brussels sprouts. These are some Brussels sprouts I got from Sam's. Uh, we shop at Sam's when, uh, when it's an item that we need that uh, they sell. And these are Brussels sprouts that says they're pre-washed, but I'm going to wash them. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the Brussels sprouts and I'm cutting them in half and then watch what happens next. Okay, I've got all my Brussels sprouts and I cut them in half lengthwise. Now, I don't need to tell y'all how good Brussels sprouts taste. <laughs> some of you think they taste terrible and some of y'all think they stink when they cook. But let me tell you, it, Brussels sprouts are really good. I like them raw. Uh, Charlotte, my daughter, you know the Brussels sprouts you get in the box or you get in a bag in the freezer? She likes to eat them frozen. <laughs> but anyway, now look, y'all. Brussels sprouts are really good for you. Look at all that vitamin C. They've got 120% of your daily recommended amount of vitamin C and they got lots of fiber uh, they're just really versatile I think they just taste like a mixture between cabbage and broccoli um, but if you've never eaten Brussels sprouts or if you don't care for excuse me if you don't care for Brussels sprouts Try different ways of cooking them. I'm going to show you a way I like to cook them. So now I'm going to get these washed and I'm going to start them to boil. Okay, y'all, I'm going to bring these to a boil. And even though the package said they were pre-washed, I still wash them. But now I'm going to bring these to a boil and I'm going to cook them until they're El dente, I think, is the, the way you say it. But anyway, till they're almost, almost done. So, turn on the gas. Oh, it actually worked. And now I'll bring these to a boil, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, the Brussels sprouts have been boiling, and... I don't want them to turn to mush. Now, if I was just cooking Brussels sprouts, I would probably cook them whole. But for what I'm going to do here, I need them halved. And they look like they're probably done for what I want to do. So I'm going to drain them. Okay, I've got the Brussels sprouts draining here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them come to room temperature. Uh, I'm not going to use all of these Brussels sprouts in this recipe. I'm going to freeze some for uh, later. But uh, now I'm going to let these come to room temperature. Okay. So these are pretty well cooled off. And I've got some here in bags. Uh, now they're not totally cold. But I've got some here in bags. I divided it probably in about thirds. I'm going to freeze this for later use. Um, now all I have to do is just, you know, just heat them up, more or less. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in a frying pan and saute them. But, first of all, I'm going to saute these onions. Okay, I've got a thick bottom pan here, and I've got about... Um, maybe a fourth of a cup of olive oil in the bottom and I'm going to saute one oh I don't know I'd say that's a medium small small medium onion so I want to get this soft I don't want a whole lot of color but I want to get these soft because those are already cooked uh, Brussels sprouts are already cooked. So let's get these going and we're gonna get we're gonna get them soft.
Okay, y'all. Uh, if you've noticed, uh, I added some garlic in there. Just a second. I'm going to have to eat this one. This one looks too good. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is just too good. Oh, my. Now, I left the garlic hole because Arnie don't like garlic. But, uh, he can pick those big uh, garlic pods out of there. Um, so, let's get to the next step. Okay, we've got a good sizzle going here now. So, I'm going to add the Brussels sprouts on top of these onions. And now, we want some color. So I'm going to let these saute a little bit. I'm going to add some salt. And some pepper. And for a little added flavor, uh, I'm going to add some caraway seeds. Not too many. About a couple teaspoons. So now we want to bring some color to this. You know, uh, uh, the taste changed. And I know when I've always loved Brussels sprouts. I know a lot of people don't. But... Try cooking, if it's something you don't like, I love broccoli, I love cabbage, and I think of uh, Brussels sprouts, to me they taste like little cabbages. Um, but try adding Brussels sprouts raw to your coleslaw, or uh, roast, a lot of people roast their uh, Brussels sprouts. Well, as you know, my oven's broke, so I'm so top living now. And uh, we're going to add some color to these and see what happens. Okay, next step. It's nice and heated through. We got some color. And here, I have a cup of plain white vinegar. Now, we'll bring that up to temp. Now, what I'm basing this recipe on is uh, a hot green bean salad that's sweet and sour. I'm not adding any sugar to this. Um, hot potato salad. Uh, maybe a Chinese dish here or there has hot vinegar. But that's what I'm basing this on. So now we're going to let that get a little bit of a little bit of heat on that vinegar. And Ernie will be doing an official taste test. Okay, here we go, folks. It's all done. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Well, I guess that's as far as I can zoom out. Just a second. Okay, folks, we're all done. I got it all nice and heated through. And Ernie's going to do his official taste test. So go ahead, Ernie. Here, let me get you. And speak loud. So what you think? Good. Good? Yeah. Yeah, so see y'all, there's a there's another way to eat um Brussels sprouts. Uh whenever you find a vegetable like this that you don't care for or uh you don't like for whatever reason. Try a different way of cooking it. 
this is a different way of cooking uh, Brussels sprouts and Arnie thinks it's good. It's like a hot salad. So thanks for watching.